Hello everyone, it's me, Jace Kabeen, and welcome back to Around the Clock at Bikini Bottom. Continuing on the series of showing you guys my speedrun strats for each level that I do in the order that I do them in my any percent speedruns. Now, we are doing Patrick's Rock, but I'm just going to run through a quick Patrick's Rock level without starting the timer so I can show you, like, what guys, what I do, how I break down, like, exactly how to speedrun this level, what the RNG is, because this is the second heaviest RNG level in the game and right behind Glove World, in my opinion, for speedruns. Um, you can lose like a minute and a half from it plus. So level loads up. You just have your mouse in the position I have it. All Spam right. left click. That way it skips. And then it'll show this cutscene. It's unskippable. So what I do here, since this cutscene is part of the level, is I hold D and sprint. That way he's going to fall to the right. And then you oh, yeah. spam E. And then as soon as if spam goes away, you head here. You spam again. You head back here. And hit E, and then you immediately start going there. And at this point, oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and move my... Yeah, there we go. I move my mouse to the bottom left side of the screen as much as I can. And then when this pops up, I move up a little and then right a little. And hopefully I'm in the right spot. I don't think I am, but... That's for the shot. Ah, so close. Yeah, I, I still haven't really gotten used to it. So here you hit F to turn on your flashlight because you can do that before you load and hold down W and shift. So you're sprinting as soon as you have the ability to. Every little split second counts. Try to aim your center cursor to the next corner that you'll be rounding the best you can. Hold W and shift the whole time. So we go left first. We hear him, so we immediately you turn and go the other way. Now the goal here is get to the get to the exit as fast as possible. Now here you have a choice. I usually go to the right exit here because it's easier to juke out Prowler Pat if you get it wrong. But recently I've been resetting my runs if I don't get the right exit the first try. So we'll go here. Hopefully it's the exit that we want. If not, then I get to show you the juke. Uh, that may not be viable for too much longer depending I don't show you the juke okay now this is probably the second best RNG you can get the best RNG is probably Pat just doesn't spawn on the left side so again you hold sprint oh, you yeah. let go of your mouse like I didn't do <laughs> F W and shift while you're in the level loading this is pretty straightforward same thing with the cursor in the corners the best you can while using your ears to listen for um, Prowler Patch Shadow Spawns. Now sometimes you may not be able to tell if it's in front of you or behind you because the way 360 sound works, just cock your head to the side. Just move to the side and you can, you can tell a lot better. And that's, that's it. Uh, for the free toys, you can actually back into it. So if you line yourself up in the spam E, you can back into it and then as soon as you see that cam shake, start going forward again. You gotta be careful of Prowler Pat because he can catch up to you pretty quick. Behind me. You see I did the cock my head to the side because you know front behind sounds the same. It comes out of both headphones. So if you turn your head kind of to the side and walk sideways, you hear whether it's to the left or to the right. That's how you know it's in front of you or behind you. Other than that, it's just keeping your cursor to corners. If you hear footsteps before you get to this, you turn around and you can just move on. Let go of everything, hold down W and shift, hit F, and you're moving. Now you're going to want to look as far ahead as you can to see if you can spot where the prowlers are. That one's right there. And then again on this part, that one's right there. He did not see me. He's going the opposite direction, so I should be able to... Nope, he's going to the right. Just keep an eye on him, basically. Um, they, they don't run faster than you, so if, as long as you get past them, you're fine. Now here, you definitely want to wait out these. <laughs> this is just survival at this point. Cool. Make sure you're holding down shift for sprint. I saw that prowler to my left, so I'm going right. Watch out for the prowler on the right. No idea where he is. I have not seen him yet. Still kind of spooked. There he is to my left. Cool. So as long as we head this way, we should be good. And there you go. Cut corners whenever you can. So as soon as you go through here, 
you're pretty much good. This next cutscene's unskippable, but this next part's pretty important for speedrunning, and it was actually implemented in 101B, because this whole tutorial used to be unskippable, but now you can skip it. So as soon as this next level loads, you start moving your mouse to the bottom left. It's gonna look weird, but skip tutorials right there. Then you immediately start spamming space and it skips that cutscene. And these two cutscenes are unskippable. <clears throat> so now, since you know your mouse is on the bottom left, you move up a little bit to the right a little bit to get it prepared to hit that continue button. Cause it's gonna show you the, uh, the score. So you can just spam left mouse button and hopefully you hit it right. <laughs> But yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. No. And there you go. Basically just hit it as fast as you can and that's that's the level. It's really straightforward. Just It's very RNG based. So as you guys know, I start my timer on the bubbles. Like when you hit continue. And it's the same delay when you actually start a new level. So I'm gonna head into Bargain Mart real quick because it's like the fastest level to get started. <clears throat> And again, if you guys haven't noticed, it's always good to like get your mouse pointer in the right area, like, and just spam left click to hit skip and hit continue as fast as possible. And that'll come with like memorizing where everything is on the screen before it even pops up. Because your mouse is saved, like your mouse position is saved on the screen no matter what. Even if you're looking around, that's, that's your mouse moving around. So you can hit escape before you even load. And as soon as we hit quit, we start the timer. It's the same bubbles, the same amount of time as the continue button plays. And then we head to Patrick's Rock. The reason Patrick's Rock is second in order, you hit yes as fast as possible. I'm still really sketchy on that. But the reason Patrick's Rock is the second one is because it's the second heavy heaviest RNG level. So I want to get the RNG levels done first. That way I know if I should reset the run or not based on bad RNG. Because you don't want to get really good times on a bunch of the other levels and then just get bad RNG on a level because you can't control what's happening. And then you lose out on all that time. All right. And see there, I didn't have my mouse position in the right spot. I'm talking. Usually when I talk, that's what happens. So you don't have to hit shift on this. You can just hold D and then spam E. Oh yeah. yeah kind of like that. Yeah. As long as you're in the hitbox, you're good. I kind of fucked that up a little bit. Maybe it would be better to hold shift. <laughs> I'm a speedrunning expert. Ooh, hey, I'm yeah. still discovering strategies every day. I'm sure there's skips that I don't know about. I'm sure there's plenty of skips I don't know about. Let's move the mouse forward and right a little bit. Hopefully I have it in the right position. I think I did too much. Ooh. Nope, that was good. Cool. Hit F while the level's loading. The flashlight turns on. You heard the click. <laughs> Hold shift and W. Just hit left a little bit to line yourself up. Yeah, if you can hit keys to line your cursor up instead of using the mouse to line your cursor up, it's good too. I don't I don't know if it like saves or loses time depending on it. So we'll head left first. I don't hear Prowler Pat. There are a few Prowler Pat spawns here. There's a chance he'll be here. He's not? Okay. So we're hoping he's in that alleyway to the right, right there. He's not, so he's right there. Yep. So that is not the best scenario. It's probably the third best scenario. The best scenario, he's in the alleyway and we can go around, head straight to this exit that we're going toward now, and this will be the correct exit. Uh, the third best is this is the correct exit. <laughs> and it is! Good! Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, we lost about 10 seconds there. Usually we go through here. Let go of everything. Shift. Oh, yeah. W. F. Cool. So far, so good. We're under three minutes right now. A lot of the time you lose to cutscenes. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like going out. I've been recording all day. And uh, yesterday as well. I've recorded like 19 videos yesterday. And so far today, um, 11? 12? This is video number 13. Getting ready for this move, dude. It's tough. It's a lot of work, but hey man, it's that hustle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. Spam E. Spam E. 
There we go. I missed it, but it's fine. I'm still getting used to it. You get it, right? You get, you get what the strat is. You don't want them to get too close. That was way too close. Kind of center your cursor. It can be so disorienting with the music. And it's hard to like, cause you, uh, to move your cursor around, cause you don't want to, um, you don't want to move your position, you know. Line you up. Go ahead and moonwalk, and then let go of everything. Hit F, W, and sprint. Shift, whatever. Jump. And now we watch to see where the prowlers are. I didn't see him. He's probably on the left. He's on the right. I see him to the right. Next prowler. Uh, he's on the left. I see him. So we're going to take the right. As long as he doesn't cut across to me, I'm good. I am good. Try to keep your cursor straight the best you can. Save as much time as you can. You're going to want to wait for that cannonball to pass. Okay. Let me watch for the prowler. Don't see him. Don't see him. Don't see him. There he is. See if I can juke him around this tree. His back's turned. So I'm just going to try to go around him. Take a risk. Risk it for the biscuit. Super risky. Alright, so we got here in under five minutes. Which is good. That's not a bad time. It's about ten seconds slower than we want. We want to get there at about 4.45ish. That's like the ideal time. <clears throat> And then we want to do our cursor to the bottom left as soon as this next level starts to load. <laughs> so this will kind of go out. And then we bottom left corner. And then up just a little bit. And we spam left click and it skips. Spam space bar and it'll skip. And then we try to line our mouse up to continue. And we spam left mouse button. And we'll see what our time is. This is a pretty fast patch of rock. To be honest, I don't think it's my best, but I think 610 is my my current um, best segment, like in my any percent run. So this actually might be a better best segment. There we go. 551. That's not bad. <laughs> that's really good. That's like almost 20 seconds off my best segment right now. But yeah, that's Patrick's Rock. It's very RNG based, but anything under six minutes is good. Anything under six and a half minutes is decent. But you're going to want to cut down as many, as much time as you can, especially if you want to hit that less than two hours for the whole game. It's tough. It's really tough. I it, it takes so much luck to nail that. It's unreal. And I'm really glad that I actually had decent amount of RNG in both Glove World and Patrick's Rock today while doing these first two videos because I was really worried they were going to take forever to record. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.